We have some breaking news coming in now, and we've just gotten word. You know, it's 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 Boston Marathon Day, and we've just gotten word of not one but two explosions near the finish line of the Boston Marathon. These are live pictures coming into us now. I assume from from uh, Fox News Boston and Fox 26 up there, but it's just it's just popped up, and it just happened while we were discussing this this last story. Uh, our station there. Uh, I, I said Fox 25, I meant Fox 26, I meant Fox 25, my Fox Boston. This, uh, two explosions, and their reporter, uh, Maria Stefanos, is reporting that she saw the smoke of the finish line as it happened. Strangely, so far we're not getting much out of Boston on this. Uh, Jonathan Hunt has been reading up and getting some more information while Arthur and I were talking. This is uh, disturbing. Yeah, the Shep, the, what we're, the, one of the initial reports says that the two explosions came from inside the Fairmount Copley Plaza Hotel. I'm not sure which of those buildings it is there. I'm just looking at Boston.com's uh, live blogging of this here. There is one report of injuries. I have not heard that uh, anywhere else, but uh, uh, some ambulances are said to be on the way down there. I'm not sure if we can make them out in that picture, uh, but clearly this developing very quickly now, Shep. It is, and we're just getting more now from our sources there in Boston and around. Uh, this has just crossed from Associated Press in the last few seconds, investigating the report of these two explosions, as we said. They heard it from the, fa uh, from the Fairmount Copley Plaza Hotel. That has just been shut down by, a by race officials uh, because of this report. Uh, race officials have shut it down. It's the sound of two booms, which witnesses said sounded like thunder. Uh, right as the, I don't, you know, the race is ongoing at this point. We're, we're waiting to hear something from authorities there. And from the video, this is unedited video that's coming in. Or are these live pictures? These are live pictures, it's my understanding. Uh, well, okay, here's what these are. I just learned this. This is video that a photographer shot that has not been edited, uh, but is feeding back into their facilities. And uh, we, got, we got a rough situation here. And it, it, this is not a time to jump to any conclusions at all. Uh, at the end of a big event like this, uh, you know, you, you worry about what may, may happen at these large events. Security, as we all know, has been tightened over the years since the attacks on New York City and beyond uh, uh, Washington and Shanksville, PA. Anytime you have a, something big like this, I know the New York City Marathon now has unprecedented security and the Boston Marathon deeply aware of these same problems uh, has gone through the same thing is it possible that there was some some problem structurally or otherwise that some accident happened it certainly is but I, I'm sure that authorities are looking into all possibilities at the moment we don't know anything about injuries uh, I, I should be up front with you and let you know we, we have just gotten this report while Arthur and I were speaking uh, a couple minutes ago this first started coming in uh, we, we, knew, we knew it was Boston Marathon Day and a beautiful day in the Northeast with the temperatures low, but no one certainly expected to see anything like this. Our